Lenders mortgage insurance on an investment property is also known as LMI. And I have a bad habit when I talk to clients and I say LMI and they look at me with a glazed face, what are you talking about? We're talking about lenders mortgage insurance. What is lenders mortgage insurance? It's a cost to borrowing money, that's all it is. People are terrified by it because people don't like paying the fees. However, I don't mind it. I've actually bought investment properties before and I've paid lenders mortgage insurance. Why? Because I look at it as a fee to hold more of my own money. If I don't want to pay lenders mortgage insurance, I need to borrow 80% and no more. I need to have a 20% deposit, which means I could have a 90% lend and only need a 10% deposit, but that I have to contribute more money to do the 80%. So having mortgage insurance allows me more flexibility to make future decisions and and investment opportunities will become available to me. So it's a, generally around 3% of the transaction, or if we go below 90%, so 85 or 83% as a loan to value ratio, well then the mortgage insurance will decrease accordingly as well, might only be 1% or 1.5% of the transaction. You don't have to physically pay it out of your own pocket, it can get be added to the loan. Now some banks are different. You can, some banks you can do 90% plus mortgage insurance, other banks are 90% including mortgage insurance. And that fee is charged on settlement. You don't have to come up with the money beforehand, it's just charged on settlement. From a tax perspective, we can claim it in our tax. So if you have a mortgage insurance cost of $5,000 and you're in a 34% tax bracket, well, you're going to get about $1,650 back, so really the mortgage insurance is only costing you under $3,500 to hold an extra 10% cash in either equity or cash to be used for a future investment decision.